Hello, my friends. This is not today's video, but it will give you something pretty to look at while I tell you some exciting news. I am honored to be a part of the Color Art Spring Team event featuring 14 artists and 15 chances to win Color Art product. So please listen carefully. Each channel will have a winner of a six-piece Prism Pour set. All you have to do to be eligible is subscribe and leave a comment by midnight, May 6th, 2022. And there will be a mega prize of a $400 color art shopping spree awarded to one lucky winner. Now, all the artists participating in the collaboration have been assigned a clue, which will together form a secret phrase. You need to gather all the clues found in each video and submit the secret phrase by midnight, May 6th, 2022, to Leslie at Color Art using the form that will be on a page I will link below. The winners of the channel prizes and the mega prize will be announced Monday, May 9th on the same Color Art link. All this information and links to all the videos are detailed below. Now, let's get to my video. I'm quite excited about today's experiment. I'm going to attempt to create a cloud pour featuring Color Arts Prism Pour Ultra Metallics. Those magnificent shimmery paints. Colors today are African Violet. Now I've mixed, I've changed up my recipe. This is not my normal cloud pour recipe because I really wanted to keep these colors rich and shimmery. I didn't want to dilute them in any flow troll at all. So I will detail the recipe down below. Baltic Amber. Beautiful. I have mixed up some uh, uh, Paints Gray by Creative Inspirations just to have one matte color in there. This is Frostbite. Look at that. And then I've got Blue Velvet, which is a favorite of mine. I just can't stop looking at that color. Whoa, that is gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. And then for my cloud mix, I'm using Chantilly Lace, a prism pour color, and a bit of satin enamel. And water, so we shall see. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to start with um, the blue because I I just love this uh, blue violet, blue velvet rather, and I don't want to lose it out on the edges, so I'm going to add it first. That way it comes out of the, the cup last, and I'm sure to enjoy some of it. And I'm going to go to Frostbite. A little bit of Payne's Gray. Now I'm going to pour the um, some of the cloud mix from up high. See if I can't get it to blend in there. It's the idea anyway. Now some Baltic Amber. African Violet. I actually have some um, of this, uh, what is this one? Platinum Rose standing by. I think I'll pour some of that in as well. And back to the original color, the blue. Looks like I'll get two layers. Pain 
one's gray. Yeah, put it all in there. A bit more cloud mix. Baltic amber. African violet. I, I can't pick a favorite, honestly. They're they're all so beautiful. Even the platinum rose <laughs> is a gorgeous color, and I'm not really a pink fan, as as you may have picked up. And why not? I'll put the rest of this. Uh, Cloud mix in there. Okay. That should be enough for this canvas. I think I've used every color, used up every color, and here we go. Make a little spout out of it and fingers crossed. It's looking very pretty coming out of the cup. Ah, oh, there's that gorgeous blue velvet. Okay. Wee, that's pretty. Oh, I hope you can see how lovely that is. Looks like there's a little cloud effect in there. Move it around, see what we get. Oh my gosh, that blue. Oh, look at that, that pink in there. I love that. Can't believe I'm saying that, but it's so pretty the way it's just like, oh, shot of blue, of pink. That's lovely in there. our corner and then we'll size up the composition. Oh my. It is quite pretty.
Wow. Yeah, I'm liking the whole thing. I don't, I don't know that. Oh my gosh, that blue! Can you see that blue over here? Oh, and the, it's all pretty. Wow. I don't gush very often, but about my work, but this is really, really pretty. I like it. I, I think I'm going to stop messing with it. Let me bring you in for a closer look. Guess that's where all the cloud effect ended up, but it kind of worked, I would say. Look at that sparkle and the shimmer in that area right in there. Oh, looks like stained glass almost. Abalone, perhaps. Wow, I, I'm very happy, my friends. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and um, now we'll head over to see uh, Tina Porter's. Don't miss it. See you soon.